and boy, I got three of them. One is for, this one is mine, and these two are for you guys. Three minutes, 45 seconds, higher pressure. And I'm gonna be using lubrication for easy penetration. Once I bought the flat tire repair kit, all I see is flat tires. You know how it's like whenever you buy something new, all of a sudden you see everybody else has the same thing. For example, when you buy a new truck like a Tacoma or something like that, whenever you drive around, all you see are Tacomas. Or when your wife is pregnant, and all you see is pregnant women around you. You know what I mean. So that's what happens. Once I bought the flat tire repair kit, all I see is flat tires in my car. I swear to God. Now it's the turn of this one right here. Ever since I bought that kit, that tire, that flat tire. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up already. Quiet. Stop. Stop. Let me, let me do my videos, okay? It's not, if it's not the neighbor, it's you. Okay, so ever since I got the flat tire repair kit, this is the third flat tire I need to repair. Let me get my kit. This kit that I bought, ever since I bought this, flat tires are the third one in a month. You've seen already before, when I went on my trip, I got myself a pump that I can com uh, connect my 20 volt, uh, DeWalt power, like battery to it. And that's what I took with me on my iron butt. I didn't have those compact, little small portable uh, inflators or pumps so this is what i took with me when i went on my iron butt trip i took this 20 volt xr battery and that's what i took in my uh in my bag but i was waiting for so long for the company that makes them and finally they reached out and i got myself a pump let me show you you be quiet there okay you be quiet be a good dog yeah i found the boxes of uh the inflators a smart pump by Lexan, that's what they, they call it. And boy, I got three of them. One is for me. This one, I'm gonna unbox it now. This one is mine. And these two are for you guys. I asked them to get three of them, one for me and two as a giveaway. So it's gonna be pretty simple. I'll have explanation down by the, by the description, what to do and also I'll tell you now, but let's do the unboxing. Stand by, I'll tell you what you need to do to get this Lexan portable pump. Which I've seen a lot of it online. Finally got my hands on one, on three actually. The Lexan 5,000 milliamp hour. What it pretty much is, is a very big powerful battery pack that has a, a pump connected to it with a little smart, a uh, smart mechanism inside that you preset the pressure you want, connect it to the valve over there on your car, on your motorcycle, obviously. Click a button and just walk away and it, fills it up. I'm going to show you very soon. So let's uh, unpack. Okay, how to use a smart pump P5. I'm not going to bore you with all the details, but if you're really into manuals and guides, you got some uh, material over here for a few days to read. The thing itself is uh, look at the size of this battery, this pump. Okay. It's a little, uh, I guess this is the air um, intake. The other side is where the hose goes. This is the charging port, USB-A, USB-C. It's got a flashlight as well, and that's where the, the hose goes. Uh, there it is, the hose is right here. It comes with a little pouch, so you have everything packed neatly inside. Like a little adapter if you're gonna inflate a, a bicycle right here. This is for a bicycle, and that's for your soccer ball, football, or even baseball. Uh, let's put it together. That is the pump itself. Let's see what you got. Long press. Okay, you gotta wait till all three. There you go, on. Now it's showing on. Battery's fully charged because I charged it uh, yesterday. This is the pressure, the preset pressure that you want in PSI. What is the car? 34, 30. The Toyota is a 34, so I'll put it on 34. 30, let's put it on 34. I'll repair the tire and then we'll try and use this. This is long press for this on the light button. You press long enough, there you go. Now the light starts, it turns on. Okay, long click, light is off. Uh, what is U? Oh, is the, those are the units, either in bar, uh, KPAs, which I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys know what it is. It says it's for bicycle, whatever. I guess it's a preset. Then it's uh, KP, KP something, KPM. And then it's the PSI, that's what I'm using. 34, and then we'll connect it. 
uh, simply a simple connecting just screw it in so that, okay. and then on the other side it's going to be connecting on just screw it in and then we'll connect it so let's fix the tire first and then we'll inflate it what else oh yeah connecting this is what you connect you know your power source to charge this i'm not sure how many times you can actually cycle this uh but you know what let's once i refill it it's completely full now we'll refill the tire fill it up completely and see how much is left this goes in there that's that's all it is just uh, one more thing that I just found out, I looked in the manual. Like I said before, it can serve as a, a battery pack. So I connected through the, the USB-A, the big one. That's the output. I connected this cable. Now I'm gonna charge my iPad, let me show you. There you go, charging. You see, right there, that icon. The battery pack over here. The pump slash battery pack is charging so you can charge your phone or anything you need on the go just in case you know okay let's fix that tire now let me just start by extracting this nail the first the first tool it's this one right here widens and prepares the hole for the plug that later will later on will come once it's in once it's in pull it out and go do that a few times drill it in pull it out Drill it in, pull it out. What are you doing there? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my God, I'm telling you. You need to calm down. 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 Now tool number two, we're gonna be using this tool to put a, a plug. It's a piece of rope with a lot of rubber and uh, cement on it. And it's gonna go on inside here. And then this, we're gonna plug inside and pull it out. And what will be remaining inside is this piece of rope, which uh, serves as a, as a plug. This, this part is gonna go into the hole like that. When I pull it out, pull the metal piece out, only this plug, this very sticky plug is gonna stay, stay in. Mind you, you need a lot of force for this. And I'm gonna be using lubrication for easy penetration. Oh, you just need to calm down. You need to leave a small tip out and don't put it all the way in. So now hold this and pull out. There you go. Now this part is plugged in. Now what we're gonna do is gonna cut the excess, the excess out right here with the provided knife or if you have your own knife, the kit has a knife with it. And then we'll pump it and make sure there are no leaks. It's my expensive dagger. That's our plug. Now let's fill it up with our Lexan pump. Yeah, so we need 33 PSI. 33, right there, 33 PSI. Gonna fill up with 33 and a half, 34. Fire is completely empty now. Long click. One, two, three, it's on. There you go. It screws right on. Oh, it's hanging in the air. That's the pressure we have right now. And I'm turning it on. 
letting it run. Let's wait here until it uh, fills up. You don't have to do it shuts automatically. I'm gonna do fast forward now. Okay, it's the next day. I wanna see how long it's gonna take to inflate uh, my low rider ST front. It's not hot, it's not heating up. It's about five or six minutes already. Talk about timing in life. It started to blink red. Battery was almost completely depleted, but it made it all the way through from no air at all, a flat tire completely, all the way up to 30, 34. Now it dropped a little bit to 33. I can re uh, give it a little bit more, but it did the whole way, filled it up. So definitely enough for a motorcycle tire and nice and compact. So I need to... Three minutes, 45 seconds. Tire pressure filled. The tire is filled and the battery is on the green which I imagine means I can do two, three, a few more refills of, uh, of a full tire. That's pretty cool. Now, let me tell you how you can have one of these. Let me just make sure I plug this properly. Well, that looks okay. So all you have to do to win one of my uh, pumps, I'm, I have two that I'm gonna be giving out. I'm gonna give one out to whoever writes down by the comments just write lexin lexin i mean hashtag lexin and you have to be subscribed to my channel so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and used to write at the comments lexin in two weeks i'll be randomly choosing one the second one will go to somebody on instagram go to instagram make sure you follow me on instagram and on the post of this pump you'll see it tomorrow Find the post that shows the Lexan pump and by the comments, just write hashtag Lexan and I will randomly choose one of you in two weeks. Go ahead. Also, if you don't want to wait till the raffle and just want to pick one of these Lexan pumps, I'll have a link down by the description, Lexan with a, a link that will take you to their website to buy one. If there is a discount code, I'll put it down also by the description as well. I'm not sure how much it costs. I got it from them for free. I tested it out and it does its thing. I like it. Also, if you want to get the exact same kit that the flat tire repair kit that I used, I'll have a link down by the description as well. I, I like that. I plugged already three flat tires, no problem. The only thing that it be aware, it does not come with the plier. So you have to add your own plier. But I, otherwise, I like that kit very much. Let me do a little segment of Q&A. One big question was, Sandy, show us your new uh, saddlebags. Pretty much what I have over here. These are the standard OEM ST uh, clamshell bags that came off my uh, lowrider ST. But over here, what I have is touring bags with uh, brackets that would make it possible to mount these touring bags on my lowrider. As a matter of fact, Advan Black made this and it would it fits on a lot of soft tail models, different variations. I've had this for like six months already, but I have a small problem. This is the bracket that is supposed to attach over here, right here at this spot, right over here. What happened, my exhaust, two into one Sawiki, the way it's designed, it's a bit higher than the rear axle. Now this bracket, specific bracket, would only fit and work if your exhaust is either a shorty, a real short exhaust, or an exhaust that is slightly below the axle nut. I know that also Blockhead Garage had the same problem when they tried to install uh, the bags and they had to modify uh, the hole, the holes on the top and you know the mounting point down here. They fabricated something and still it was very close. In my case, even if I fabricate it to be you know as high up as possible, the pipe is still gonna be like a quarter of an inch close to the bag and it's gonna melt the bag. So there's nothing I can do about it. It's either change the pipe to a different lower pipe or fabricate completely a different mount. 
So for now, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm keeping my bags as decoration for my garage. And by the way, I got this, uh, the inspiration for the, for the decoration from Monkey. Pro Monkey has a great, great looking garage. Shout out to Monkey. Really, I like his garage. So I set up the whole garage to look, uh, you know, with all the Harley parts hanging on the wall. This is a street glide fairing that I got from one of my buddies. He replaced his after his bike fell, was dropped because somebody hit him. So he got from the insurance a new one. So I got this one. I think it looks pretty cool, pretty awesome. Oh, and that, have you seen this? Have you seen this? This is a pretty cool, I love that video. I tested, it was a video where I tested in real life this uh, Kevlar jacket, dragged it behind the motorcycle for a mile with a lot of heavy weight inside and Kevlar held up pretty nice. So as a memorabilia, it's hanging over here. Oh, and uh, yeah, some of you asked, do I actually ride? The long boards. Well, absolutely not. I, I, as a, truthfully, as a kid, when I was, sorry, 16, 17 year old, I used to ride these, break my bones, and the bones would heal fast. Now only my daughter, she rides them. But I think it's pretty cool, so I keep them in the garage hanging. I like the way it looks. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye. So we're at uh, Hasbro Heights, uh, BMW, watching the unveiling, the unveiling of the new GS 1300. But Glenn came over to meet me and say hello, and I got a gift for you. Where is it? There it is. This, oh, oh this is a gift from Beyond Riders. <laughs> they said they want you to have nice. it. Nice. Because you, you take participate you're in all our videos and stuff like that they, awesome you're the only one that doesn't have they want Yee. literally want you to have one so enjoy it man i'll give you cool. the nice man yeah this is awesome same one you got right you yeah, got this yeah, gray yeah. one and i got pads for you i don't have them here with me nice. but uh pads like the in the impact zones i think it's your size because i uh yes, kind of found how found out what size you are Beautiful. yeah you're welcome man enjoy Thanks kevlar so much, line Andy. yeah that's what They'll be on riders. I love them too. They're great. <laughs> You're welcome, man. And I'm going to be using Lubricate. Lubric. I'm going to. Keep bitching back your problems like a bitch. Yeah, you keep bitching back your problems like a bitch. Want me to solve them? Keep bitching back your problems like a bitch. Keep up. Bitch it. Keep up. Like a bitch want me to solve them